One hour smart home here and today we're going to show you how to set up the Amazon Echo Hub which we've got right here which is a Wi-Fi Amazon Alexa device. So the first thing that you need to do is download and install the Amazon Alexa app if you haven't already done that. Download the app, set up a username and password and it's really important that you log into the app and have it open during this process so that this will automatically connect. You're also going to want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and and you've got your Bluetooth enabled. So now that we're logged into the app, let's plug in the Amazon Echo Hub to the power source. On the Echo Hub, there is a power port right up there at the top. So take that uh, power cable and plug it in and then plug the other end into the uh, power source. We're gonna route this over to the side to make it work and uh, plug the rest of it in. Once you plug in the Echo Hub, this is the initial screen that starts to load up. This process takes about two to three minutes. And then eventually what will happen is the Echo Hub will automatically show up on your phone if you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled, as you can see right here. And now it is ready for setup so that you can continue setting it up on the app. So just don't do anything here. Let it go through the loading up on the Echo Hub and then it's gonna walk you through the process to finish setting this up. With the app open and the Echo Hub plugged in, you can see that it automatically just connected right to the Amazon Alexa app. And so when you purchase this on Amazon, they automatically link it to your account so that when you plug it in, it will just automatically connect to the Amazon Alexa app if you have the app open, Bluetooth enabled, and your Wi-Fi on. So here it says, uh, this Echo Hub is registered to you, and uh, then all you're going to do is click Agree and Continue over here. It says, first things first, Alexa is designed to protect your privacy. Click Continue. Now you can name your device. So I'm just going to click Continue with this name. Here, it's going to ask you to select your address. So make that selection or enter the address and click continue. Then we wanna make sure we have the right time zone. So let's put that in and we will then click continue. Updating. Device updates are available. Just click download and install. Updating this device. It took the update about six to seven minutes to complete. And then this is what popped up. It wants us to choose a room. So we're just gonna call it bedroom and then click continue. Then it says, where will your Echo Hub be installed? You can put it on a wall and or a stand. Uh, this is the wall mounting device. So you just would mount this on the wall with screws and then it slides right on there. But for now, we're just going to say uh, it's on a stand and click continue. Here you can choose which speakers you want to play when you have ALEXA play music. So we're going to click skip for now. You can choose if you want uh, Amazon photos or any of these other sceneries. So we're just going to put on uh, Wild Earth. It says stay connected with Amazon Sidewalk. We're going to turn it off for now, but uh, it helps create a mesh network for other smart home devices. This device is ready. Here it gives us some features that we can look at. Uh, an auto sleep uh, display, captioning for your videos. We're going to just X out of this. Here now you can see it populates with all of our different devices here. So this Echo Hub is really designed to be a smart home hub or center of the system. Uh, so it's got a touchscreen display here. You can scroll through all the typical stuff that you could on an Amazon Echo device, but you can then scroll through like your cameras or your other devices. 
Um, you can turn on lights if you want here. So this is pretty cool. You could turn this on or off from here and all these different lights. I test out so many different smart home devices. I've got all kinds of ones that aren't connected and connected, um, but it's pretty neat that you could turn these on or off. Um, let's see, I think this is the room. Let's turn it on, see if that turns on the lights in here, um, or you could turn them off. Uh, so you've got all kinds of different lights here that you could, oh, here we go, the lights in the office. There we go, turned on and off the lights. So pretty cool that uh, you can use all these different features on here. And it really truly is uh, designed like a smart home hub. So this Echo Hub is matter enabled. Uh, which is a smart home protocol uh, so that other devices can talk to it, as well as you can typically connect devices just through the Amazon Alexa app and the portal there. So many Wi-Fi devices will work on here, like uh, your blink cameras, ring outdoor or ring doorbells, ring cameras, stuff like that. And then the lights I have connected are uh, Lutron and Leviton light switch lights and also some different types of smart light bulbs. So it really is a smart home hub focused device, which is pretty cool, but it still has all the Amazon Alexa features. Um, you've got right down here, I believe these are microphones on the top, it's got some speakers. And then over here is where you've got your volume up, volume down controls. Um, and you could even pull up a camera view on here if you wanted to of any of these cameras. So like if you've got a ring doorbell at the front door, you could have it automatically uh, allow you to show what's going on in your front door, which is pretty cool. And then you've got all kinds of different stuff over here, routines, um, your different rooms that you've got devices grouped into. You could look at the weather here, daylight savings time, all kinds of stuff. And then you could add uh, different little apps in here that you wanted. Um, so if you wanted to have like audio and any of that, you could. And it's just a really neat device that they have thought about this because this was typically only a feature on um, higher end homes that had full smart home security systems. Uh, and having the hub really just kind of ties it all together with the touch screen. You could do pretty much anything you could do on the hub on your phone or via voice control, but it's nice to have a central location for when you just want to go to the hub and uh, press the devices here in this layout and format of this. The other things to know about the Amazon Echo Hub is that it does connect via Wi-Fi. It has full Amazon Alexa capability. And it also, in addition to the Matter connectivity, it has a Zigbee chip built in so that it can connect to Zigbee devices uh, that are compatible with it, which is pretty cool, directly to the hub. And then it also is built on Thread, which is another smart home uh, protocol, so more devices will work with this. Overall, it's a neat device and really kind of gives you a high-end touch to a smart home system that may have just been on your phone before. Now you can kind of tie it all in with this Amazon Echo Hub. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up your Amazon Echo Hub. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any links below if you want to support us, and we'll see you next time.